Hi there, welcome to my electronics channel. In this video, I want to show you how to obtain, install, and use a program called Curl. Now, Curl is both a command line tool and a library for transferring data with, with URLs, and I use it mostly for HTTP and HTTPS protocols, specifically for testing out HTTP requests to IoT or Internet of Things data platforms that, that use the HTTP protocol for obtaining and, and uh, sending, sending out uh, sensor data, for example. The main page, main web page for curl is curl.hacks.se. So yes, you can go there, even though it's a scary looking URL because it has the term hacks and it is actually the legitimate web page for curl. Now, when you, after you go to this page, go to the download. And what I would suggest doing is using the download wizard because there's all sorts of different versions and for different platforms, and there's just the, sometimes just the library, but what we're looking for specifically is the executable so that we can run curl from a command prompt in Windows. So I'm going to the download wizard, and I specifically want the executable, so I'm gonna click on the executable. This is for a Win64 system. I've got a choice between generic and SIGWIN. I'm not gonna be running this in SIGWIN, so I'm gonna choose generic. Which package do I want? Well, I'm going to go with unspecified. And then I've got the choice between x86 and IA64. I'm going to go with x86. And I've got a few choices here. Um, I just have a standard unzip full file on my computer, so I'm going to download the .zip file. So I click on that, and it downloads. What I want to do, I want to save it. And it's finished downloading, so now I can open it. It's going to open the zipped file. And I get all of these files. And in fact, unless I want the source code and all these readme files, there's only one thing that I need. And that's in SRC, and that's this curl application. It's actually a curl.exe file. And what I'm going to do is open a new Windows Explorer window here uh, called MyCurl. MyCurl is under C users David slash MyCurl, and just copy the curl executable over there. So now I've got the curl executable in this particular folder and you might be tempted to double click on it and it's going to run the program but it's going to immediately ex exit from the program. So what you want to do next after you've copied it over into a folder where you whose location you know and in this case it's c colon users david slash my curl you're going to open a command prompt and in this command prompt by default it opens a c colon users slash data, David, I mean, and I'm going to change to the my curl folder. So I go CD for change directory, my curl, and now I'm in the my curl directory. I can type in dirt, get a listing of all the files that are in my curl, and I can see that I only have this curl.exe. And this curl.exe, it's an executable that I can run from the command prompt. So to see that it's working, I can just type in the word curl, which is going to run the program. That wasn't enough information for curl, but it's telling me that I can try curl-help or curl-manual for more information. So this is gonna give me all of the options that I have when I, when I type in curl. So curl-help gives me all of these different options for how to run the curl executable file. And I actually know the, what, the, what the most basic command you can do from curl, and that's type in curl and then a particular website that you want to go to. And I have one that's at eln.ca slash simple.html. And so what this is going to do is it's going to send an HTTP request to this URL, which is basically requesting that HTML file be sent back from the server. And it's a really simple HTML file. I didn't want it to be a big file that was created by some content management system that would just have so much code in the HTML. This is one that I created by hand, so it's a very small amount of HTML. So I run this command, and what I get back is the HTML file. So there was my command that I ran, and then all of this stuff here is the HTML code. Now, what I could, what what normally happens in a browser, you go to www.elian.ca slash simple.html, you get this HTML code back, the browser renders that HTML code and shows you the particular page. Right, so I've typed in elian.ca slash simple.html, hit enter, and the same HTTP request was sent out to that particular page. 
gets the HTML code back, but in this case, it actually displays the page as it's, as it's supposed to be. Whereas in my curl example here, I get all the HTML text back. If I type in dash V and then that same web page, the dash V option is the verbose option. So what I'm actually going to see is the full request and the full response. So I send out that request. I scroll up a little bit here. So it shows, it actually shows the connection occurring to ELN.ca. This part here is the actual HTTP request, the format of that HTTP request. And then all of this is the response. So you can see 200 okay. So it was, it was a, a good response. These is, this is all the header information. And then following that header information is the actual web page or the actual HTML code that gets returned. So as an overview of what we just talked about, download the version that you want, open up the zip file that you downloaded, change to the SRC directory in there, the application that's in there, the curl application that's in there, copy it to your own folder, in this case, my curl in the my curl folder, then open a command prompt and change to that same directory that you've just copied the curl executable into. Then once you're there, you can run all sorts of curl commands. I'm not going to go into what all those commands are. There's all sorts of good documentation that you can look at, but uh, the very basic to see that you're, let's see that it's working is type in curl and then type in a URL of a particular page and you should get back the HTML code for that page. So hopefully that gets you started using curl and I will see you in the next video. Bum 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 bum